Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about the social movements. Social movements are organized, sustained, and collective efforts aimed at promoting or resisting change in a society or a group within a society. So there are more structured forms of collective behavior and often seek to address social, political, or economic issues. Different types of social movements include reformative, which seek very limited level change, revolutionary, which seek more radical changes, and redemptive, which seeking the personal changes or customized changes, and also the alternative, which are seeking for the selective changes out of certain options. So the nature of change sought distinguishes one type of social movement from another type of social movement. So it depends that what kind of social movement is seeking what kind of reaction or response to that social change. From a resource mobilization perspective, social movements are seen as rational and strategic efforts that depend on the mobilization and management of resources, including manpower, money, and material. In this regard, successful social movements often have a clear organizational infrastructure and leadership. For example, Black Lives Matter movement, which began in the United States, but it had a very global resonance and call for action that serves as an external example of a reformative social movement and it aimed to fight against the racial injustice and police violence towards the black individuals. Social movements often employ various methods to reach their goal. This can range from peaceful protests and strikes to civil disobedience or even rebellion. Movements methods chosen often depend on the socio-political context and the resources available to the movement. At the same time, the role of social media in social movements has grown up significantly in the recent past. It offers a platform for sharing information, mobilizing resources, and relying, rallying the supports, as seen in the Arab Spring, where the social media played a crucial role in coordinating these protests and disseminating the information. If we take the example of Pakistan, the Kisan movement or farmer movement in Punjab has been notable for protecting the rights of the farmers. At the grassroots level, these farmers have organized rallies and protests against the policies that impact their livelihood. Because of the government policies, and those policies were not favorable for the agriculture productions, so that's why these farmers were agitative against those policies. So that had to be a significant movement for the social changes that drive the changes in the crop prices and land right issues. So they demanded the fair prices for their crops and resist the increasing corporatization of the agriculture. The anti-orange line trade movement in Lahore, for example, provides the Another example of the local social movement. And the residents of the city, particularly those living in or near the heritage zones, protested against the construction of the Orange Line. Due to the threat it posed to historical sites and local businesses. So despite facing the significant challenges, the movement was able to draw a national as well as international attention for this issue. According to the new social movements theory, 
contemporary social movements often emphasize identity, quality of life, and human rights rather than the traditional economic or political issues. So, this shift signifies the broader socio cultural transformation in the societies worldwide. So, in the past, we have seen that the social movements have been more focused on the political or economic injustices, whereas the new social movements are more broader, rather more holistic about the human rights. So, social movements play a crucial role in the societal change, shaping the